Trying to conceive but not sure you're getting the timing right? Well, you're not alone. Most people tend to focus on ovulation day, but what if I told you by then, your best chance might already be behind you? I'm Dr. Danielle Jones, a board certified OBGYN, and today we're doing a deep dive into what defines your fertile window, how your body tells you it's go time, and how to track your cycle in a way that actually works. And I'll also share with you how the sponsor of today's video, a hormone tracking device called Anito that I have personally owned and used for years now, can help help you better understand your cycle and fertile window in a way that makes my little reproductive nerd brain so happy. So let's start by defining what your fertile window is. We typically refer to the fertile window as the five days prior to ovulation and the day of ovulation. Most people tend to really hyper-focus on the day they ovulate because it makes sense that people would think that would be the time where you're most likely to conceive. But actually, we seem to find out that about two days prior to ovulation is when your chances to conceive are the highest with a conception rate of about 25 to 30%. It is about 10% if it's five days prior to ovulation and it's about 15% on the day of ovulation. So why does it drop to near zero the day after ovulation? Well, as I've said in many a video, sperm are like, cockroaches, they do not die. They can live for up to five days in the female reproductive tract after they've been ejaculated. I don't know how I feel about that, um, but it is fact. So there you go. The egg on the other hand is quite fragile and has a short lifespan of just about 24 hours if it doesn't end up getting fertilized. So that's why it's better as far as conception rates go to have sperm there waiting for ovulation to happen rather than identifying the ovulation happened and then scrambling to get them there in time before the egg dies off. There are a lot of hormonal influences that go on in your body to get your body to ovulate and also to cause you to have a menstrual cycle. We'll talk about some of the key players. This is a very surface level discussion, but estrogen happens in the first half of the menstrual cycle. So from the time that your period starts until the day of ovulation, estrogen levels are rising. And this is your body's way of preparing that uterine lining to house an embryo and to encourage your ovaries to find the ovulation side of the month. In the middle of the menstrual cycle, approximately, it's different in everybody, is something called an LH surge. LH is luteinizing hormone, and this is the hormone that spikes really high all of a sudden and basically tells your ovary, right, that's your egg of the month, release it now, and the ovary hopefully does as it's told. Now after ovulation, so this second half of the menstrual cycle, what you end up seeing is a rise in progesterone. What progesterone does is act as a pro gestational hormone. And this helps the lining to stay stable where it's not growing, but it's not shedding in order for an embryo to be able to effectively implant if conception has occurred. So these are your body's clues that you are getting ready to ovulate and they always show up in a predictable manner. Estrogen starts to rise and that starts the beginning of the fertile window and then an LH surge occurs and we can anticipate ovulation will follow quickly thereafter. And then PDG or progestin that we can test for starts to rise in the second half after ovulation and having a certain level of that hormone is what helps us confirm that ovulation has actually occurred. So how do you know if you're actually ovulating and when? Well, there are ovulation test strips out there and they work by having a urine sample and then testing it for that LH surge that we talked about. The problem with these traditional LH ovulation strip tests is that they don't really give you a whole lot of time to try to get pregnant because within 24 to 48 hours of that LH surge, your egg is already starting to die off. And by the time LH surge happens, you might have actually missed your highest chance of conception days based on what we just talked about with two days prior to ovulation being the ideal time frame. Additionally, LH test strips on their own can sometimes be a little bit difficult to read and interpret and LH on its own is not super accurate for everyone to reliably say that you're ovulating. For example, people who have PCOS will have 
kind of spikes of LH randomly and other people who have shorter cycles may miss their window when they're testing with an LH strip because they didn't have the other hormones that they could use to alert them that they were getting into the fertile window. Calendar methods are okay, but they kind of assume that everybody's going to ovulate on cycle day 14. And although that is kind of what we use to make discussing the menstrual cycle easier, most people are not actually ovulating on cycle day 14 every month because uh, we're not robots, <laughs> we're humans. So that leads us into the sponsor of today's video, Anito. Anito is a hormone tracking device that I have personally loved and used for years. And I'm so thrilled to have them on board as a longtime sponsor for this channel because I really genuinely find this to be not only really helpful if you were trying to get pregnant, which I'm not, but also really, really fascinating. So how this works is the Anito monitor has test strips that come with it and they look like this. And this little device, well, one, it's really cool because after you dip it in your urine, you can put the thing on it like that. And then you don't have to worry about getting urine on things. This is the Anita device. It's so cool. It just connects to your phone and these test strips test for three different hormones. The first one is E3 estrogen. And that's what we were talking about just now that starts to rise kind of right at the beginning of that fertile window. The second test that it does is for LH or luteinizing hormone, which we just discussed is that spike that tells your ovaries now is the time to release an egg. And we expect ovulation to follow 24-ish hours after that LH surge. The third hormone that it tests for is PDG, which is a metabolite of of progestin that is in the urine. And once you see that level start to rise, that's how ovulation can be confirmed that it did occur on the day that we had predicted. This device is so cool to me because the hormone levels are quantitative, meaning it, you can actually see how high each of the levels are. So in my example here, you can see that that purple is the LH surge. The green is the estrogen. So estrogen starts to rise. That's the start of the fertile window. And then that LH surge occurs. And then if you look here, there's a blue dot over here. And that is where the PDG has started to rise. And when that is risen to the appropriate level, then the app will tell you, it looks like you did ovulate, ovulation confirmed. Now, there are tons of different fertility monitors and trackers and apps and test strips of all kinds out there on the market. But why I love Anito is that it gives you quantitative results. It tracks it very nicely in a really easy to use app. Now y'all know if you've been here anytime at all, how important it is to me that everything that I talk about that's medically based have some sort of evidence behind it. And Anito is no exception. They have studies that support the accuracy of their device being as high as 96%, which is awesome. And I've personally been using this for a long time. And I can tell you not only is it easy to use and really, really, it's really fun for me guys. I, I, just, I cannot explain why, but it's so much fun for me. But also I can cross check it with where I know in my regular cycle I am and it is very accurate for me as well. So why is this better than just an LH strip? Well, this helps you identify your whole fertile window and not only in hindsight, it helps you identify that the estrogen is rising and you probably have entered your fertile window. So you're not missing any of those days where the highest chance of conception could occur. So not only do you know to try before ovulation, meaning that improves your chances, but you also have a test that comes after ovulation for that PDG progestin metabolite, which confirms ovulation did occur. So you get lots of information and it's just really interesting to track. And I've heard so many really positive stories about people using this to try to conceive. So you can see here that it gives you quantitative results. And this was a result of a test I took when it caught my ovulation on that day. So you can see that the E3 or estrogen is high and so is the LH. And you can see that it has numbers next to it because it's quantitative, meaning it actually tests 
how much of the hormone it is picking up on. With Anito, you'll want to start testing on about day six or seven of your cycle and continue doing a test every day through that fertile window until you see that LH surge occur. And then you'll want to keep testing until you see that PDG, the progestin metabolite that goes into the urine, rise, which confirms ovulation. This is also very useful to me, even though I'm not trying to get pregnant because I can track my cycle with it. If there's any irregularities or anything showing up, I will know. And it just in general helps me feel a little bit more in tune with my body. I, I, guys, I don't know. I, I love, I genuinely love it. I don't know. It's, I'm a nerd. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I'm a nerd. <laughs> It's really interesting though. So if you're trying to get pregnant or you just want to understand and track your cycles in a way that doesn't involve a bunch of guesswork, Anito may be exactly what you need. Your fertile window is the key to conceiving and understanding your hormones and the fluctuations they have throughout your cycle is the best way to find it. And this little device that connects to your phone and these little test strips are Anito's way of giving you all the information that you need. Anito gives you that data in real time from the comfort of your own home. It's easy to use and connects right to your smartphone. If you're ready to start tracking your cycle in a much more accurate way, and you want to support my channel in the process, you can go to the link in my description box down below and check out Anito for yourself. If you found this helpful or learned anything, please give it a thumbs up or comment. Let me know what fertility topic you want me to talk about next, and I'll see you next Monday.